Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins. And I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I thank God that we are able to rejoice and to be glad in it. Let me, first of all, thank the prayer warriors and our prayer team here at the New Horizons Church for coming alongside of your pastor and praying with me and praying for me as we lead in these daily devotionals. And then let me thank our extended church family and those who are uh, frequent visitors to our ministry here on our YouTube uh, channel and our daily devotionals. Thank you for coming alongside and praying with us and praying for us. It's just good to know that we can go to God together in prayer. And I pray that you are um, experiencing the power of God as we're starting this series. We're in day number four about praying about the power of God in our life. And we read a passage of scripture today. We're going to be reading Ephesians chapter three and verse 20. And then we pray the principles and the precepts and the promises that are contained in those scriptures back to God. You know, when we pray in faith, we pray according to God's will. We have this assurance that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know he hears us, then we have what we ask him for. That's the assurance we have in prayer. And so today we're going to be reading again from Ephesians chapter three, verse 20. And from the new living translation, it says now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Did you hear that? Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Amen. Today we want to lift up three things before the Lord. Number one, we want to pray that we will give all glory to God at all times. Amen. That we'll always be found praising our Lord God. And then we want to also secondly pray and thank God for his almighty ability and power that not only will we give glory to him, but we will thank him for his almighty ability and power. And then thirdly and finally, we want to pray and ask God to work his power in our lives to accomplish his will. Come on, let's pray together. Father in Jesus name, we love you. Lord, we honor you and we intend to glorify you today. Lord, with the fruit of our lips, we sing the praises of your name. Lord, if we had 10,000 tongues, we would not be able to praise you enough. For you are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all glory. And you are worthy of all honor. Lord, thank you for teaching us how to pray. Thank you for encouraging us to pray. And thank you for promising us that you would answer us when we pray. And so, Lord God, today we pray according to your word today that we would give you all glory, that we would not try to take any of the glory that belongs to you, that we would not try to take any of the credit for what you have done in us, with us, and through us, that we'll at all times and in all places, Lord, give you the glory that so richly is deserving of you and your name and your power that is at work in us. Lord God, we pray that, that you would show up for us and we thank you for your, your almighty ability and power being available to us. We thank you, Lord God, that when we pray to you, we're praying to a God who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think according to your power that is at work in us. Work a great work in us today, Lord. Work a great work in our faith. Work a great work in our love for you. Work a great work in our lives, Lord God, that other people would see our good works and glorify you who are our Father in heaven. Lord, I pray that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Heavenly Dove. We want to experience your filling. We want to experience your presence. We want to experience your power. Thank you, Lord God, according to Philippians 2.13, that it is you who works in us to both will and to do according to your mighty power that is at work in us. Lord, we thank you for 
moving in us and through us through the power of your Holy Spirit. And we pray, Lord God, that you would you would activate into us the fruit of the Spirit and the gifts of the Spirit that we might be able to do great things for you and expand your kingdom and witness to others about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for us, that we would make disciples in your name, that we would serve others, Lord, and, and lay down our life for them and, and sacrifice for them, even as you have sacrificed for us, that we would pray in faith and we would live in your word and we would fellowship with one another as the commandments have given us instruction. Lord, empower us to do these things and do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask, think, or even imagine, Lord. Literally blow our minds. Literally, Lord, have our minds blown about what you are doing, how you are doing it, with whom you do it and how you do it. God, we don't understand it, but God, you will blow our minds as you work it out for our good and your glory. And we believe these things are done now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen. I get excited just thinking about the power of God. And Ephesians said, think about it, imagine it, and then God will do exceedingly and abundantly above that uh, through the power that is at work in us. So I love you in the Lord. I'm praying God's best for you. I'm praying God's power will show up in you and show up for you. I'm looking forward to continuing to pray with you again tomorrow. Share the channel with someone. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button. That way when these prayers come out, you can get that notification and begin praying with us and for us. I love you in the Lord. We'll be back tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.